Hello everybody and happy Thursday. I hope you're having a great day so far. Congress is considering $1,200 stimulus payments. According to CBS News, lawmakers are running out of time to pass another relief package before Congress adjourns for the holidays. A major point of contention is whether any package will include a second round of stimulus payments. Now, these direct cash payments did help millions of households weather the economic crush caused by the pandemic. A $908 billion bipartisan proposal initially left out stimulus payments, focusing instead on providing jobless workers with an additional $300 a week in unemployment aid. But a last minute addition to the package could, could include another round of stimulus checks. How much do you think the next stimulus check should be? $1,200 or $600? Tell me what you think in the comments down below, everybody. And before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and let's get this video to 5,000 likes if you think that Congress must pass more stimulus relief right now. My message to all of our politicians in Congress is to pass the stimulus. Do your jobs and help the American people. Approve the stimulus checks. If you agree, then leave a comment down below saying, I agree. They've been helping spearhead bipartisan efforts to try and get relief, a relief package passed. Of course, uh, Senator Manchin's a Democrat. Senator Portman is a Republican. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. I, I think Americans are wondering if this deal will actually get done before the deadline of, of tomorrow night. I, I know that uh, Senator McConnell has said you all are sticking in town until this is done. So, Senator Portman, I'll just ask you, do you have plans right now to stay in Washington for the weekend? You think it'll take through the weekend to get it finished? Becky, I'm, I'm always skeptical at your end here because it tends to get pushed back a little bit. But I think we'll finish up on Saturday. Um, it means we'll probably do something short term on Friday night to deal with the uh, continuing resolution for government shutdown. But I think we'll get it done this weekend. And we should. You know, it's been nine months since we passed the CARES package. Uh, people are hurting. The, unfortunately, the, the coronavirus health care crisis has gotten worse, not, not better recently. And the economy is not as strong as it should be. So we need a bridge between now and when we have the vaccines available. And, that's what this is. It's an emergency package to get us through the next few months uh, to the March-April time frame when we'll actually hopefully have the vaccines be widely dispersed and, and begin to turn the corner on this crisis. Senator Manchin, you and others have said that this needs to be targeted and go to the Americans who are most in need. I, I, I guess that means the people who are... And according to The Hill, Senator Josh Hawley is still trying to force a vote on the proposal for $1,200 stimulus payments. Senator Josh Hawley said he will go to the floor on Friday to ask for a vote on his proposal to provide a second round of $1,200 stimulus payments. He said in a tweet, Hawley said in a tweet, Tomorrow I will go to the Senate floor to ask for an up or down vote on my bill to provide a direct payment of $1,200 to working Americans, $2,400 for couples, and $500 per dependent. Do you agree with Senator Josh Hawley in the... Folks, do you agree with Senator Josh Hawley in that a second stimulus check of $1,200 must be approved? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. Pushing for direct to consumer, uh, direct to everybody checks, and, and that sounds like that is the latest iteration of this. Are you okay with that? Sure. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Here's the thing. This is the product that we produced. Myself, Rob Portman, and we had about 10 other senators evenly split between Democrats and Republicans. This is what we produced. Legislative language, this is the template that's being used. We were able to negotiate the deal that we thought we could all live with, and, and, and the price of what that would be is $908 billion. The Hill goes on to report that Josh Hawley introduced legislation earlier this month to provide a second $1,200 stimulus check in the language that will mirror, in language that will mirror the bill of the March CARES Act. He's also teamed up with Senator Bernie Sanders to try to get it passed by the year end by the end of the year as part of a sweeping agreement, which is still being negotiated on. Now according, to CB now, according to CBS News, the $748 billion measure would help millions of jobless workers by adding 16 weeks to the unemployment programs that are now set to expire at the end of December. The Pandemic Unemployment Compensation, or PUEC program, which had provided $600 a week to jobless workers until it expired in July, would be renewed with a week of benefits of $300. The plan would also extend a federal eviction moratorium by an extra month through the end of January. House Speaker Pelosi and Leader Mitch McConnell, as well as other congressional leaders, spoke on December 15th to discuss the relief package and a broader government spending bill. It's all in legislative language. And basically, they took the 116. They're saying, OK, since we can't come to an agreement and liability and state and local have to move the same because each side had their respective positions on that. Uh, then they said, OK, well, let's do uh, direct payments. 
and it's going to be a bit smaller. But when you said, are we okay? Absolutely. We always wanted to do direct payments. We thought it stimulates the market, if you will. But the bottom line was we couldn't get over the $900 billion. And I want people to know this is an emergency relief package. This is not a do-all, end-all. And Joe Biden, our president-elect coming in as president in January, will evaluate the situation and offer another package if needed. And we will consider and work towards making sure our economy continues to come back and come back strong. But we have to get through this time period, the first quarter especially. This is a time package basically going by April the 1st. That's what we were working under. And I told all those people, sure. it's not enough in so many areas, and it's too much in other areas where both sides are taking their respective positions. Uh, Pelosi spokesman Drew Hamill wrote on Twitter, the speaker and Secretary Mnuchin spoke at noon by phone for one hour and seven minutes and discussed the latest on stimulus and omnibus bill talks. The secretary will join the four corners in a meeting today at 4 p.m. by phone. It's now splitting the bill may boost the likelihood of extending jobless benefits before year end. There's, there's a nearly categorical 80% that Congress will enact at least a moderate-sized $400 to $750 billion stimulus bill before the week is over. Bernie Sanders also tweeted, As a result of the pandemic, tens of millions of Americans are facing economic desperation. They can't afford to pay their rent and face eviction. They can't afford to go to the doctor or to feed their children, and they're going deeper and deeper into debt. Now, Bernie Sanders is one of the politicians in Congress trying to pass more stimulus checks of $1,200. One checks would be coming at the expense of extended unemployment benefits. It sounds like you're saying they're coming instead of the state and local payments. What's the case? Yeah. Yes. I, I, myself personally, and, and Rob, Rob, I want to butt in here. I don't think any of us ever would have uh, voted or supported something where you were sending a check to people that still had a check, but we were trying to stimulate the market when we were letting people have their unemployment checks run out and had nothing. That was never on the table for us, but that was a discussion. I think we're directly in uh, that payment, basically the money that we set aside for direct payments or basically state and local aid. Rob, you might want to jump in there on that. No, I, I think Joe's right, Becky, and, and you're not going to find a lot of daylight between Joe and me, as you can tell. But with regard to unemployment, there are three things that we do in our bill, the bipartisan bill, that is also in the package, at least as we understand it. And that is we extend the time period. Now, folks, let's see what Joe Manchin and Rob Portman say about the next stimulus package. It is an example, gig economy workers, but also people who are taking advantage of the 13 week federal government extension of the state program. And look, we need it in a lot of states. I mean, some states are doing better than others. Some sectors of the economy are doing better than others. But as you know, as you begin to shut down an economy, a bunch of people lose their jobs through no fault of their own. Sometimes those shutdowns are because of a government. Thanks to everybody that is all the news in regards to your second stimulus check, second stimulus package, and unemployment benefits. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click the notifications bell so you never miss all the newest and most up-to-date reliable stimulus check information. And let's get this video to 1,000 likes if you think that Congress needs to pass a second stimulus check before Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope everyone had. I hope you all have a nice day. Stay safe.